execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect. It's Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Got a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they'll be facing a third and 12. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right, you look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed in the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tackles because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. Successful start to the drive. 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up, because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally, and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. And that one's complete to Gurley. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. First and 10, here's Brady. Slant route, caught by Ezra. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. Back now in Foxborough. 
A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. There's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mike Gillisley, 69 yards. And the Patriots continue to roll. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. <laughs> it, it's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. <laughs> I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's that's, my, and that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah, right before yeah. the game's over. We know this thing's done. Goskowski now out to kick it away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Rams offense now. They get set at... Head back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the... drive punting the football sense of urgency has to take over for them here they know the score they know the situation and by the way the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense and that's how they have to treat this drive they need points big time that play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Goff now looks to throw toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards there as they move the chains. the draw. Goff gives to Gurley. And Gurley he fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And the Patriots have it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 23. A first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. 
And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll lead here to a third down. Time for a break. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing is Brady on third down. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you. In important times, because he can trust you being in the right spot, and they connected there and picked up a first down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership <laughs> that as he tries to negotiate a new contract <laughs> off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. On first down, it's gone. Right side complete, that's Woods. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. 
Goff now to throw. And got him in. It's Woods. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first.